10 cent games that's right ladies and gentlemen we're back with another demo let's demo arena of valor that's right i hope you guys are ready this is a different type of mo game mobile game that i'm playing right now uh this is from the company 10 cent very well known for their moba game league of legends this is the mobile game version arena of valor originally it's a game from china called so I think like something kings or something like that something with alert kings in it but they've basically ported this to um, the European and American countries and there you have it so let's take a look at this game and uh, see if you guys like it or not I think it's a pretty cool game these are this isn't really the kind of game I typically play but I think that if I had a once I move into my house and get like a you know a good setup I might actually play this game more often, so this will be like a project in the future. Uh, let's say if I start streaming or whatever. But yeah, let's go ahead and check this out. So, uh, we're going to do one of these normal 5v5 type battles. That's what it is. You just pick a, char a class, character, and uh, the object really is to destroy their base. There's lots of obstacles in between. We'll kind of talk about it as we go. Uh, but this is definitely something different. I hope you guys enjoy this. All right. Yeah, it's my uh, Facebook photo. <laughs> my cat sniffing my hair. Oh, I have an estimated time now. I actually I don't really play this game much, but uh, I like the idea. Maybe one day in the future, you know, this will be a thing. It seems to be get getting a little bit of popularity. Apparently have uh, DC characters that you can <laughs> put on your profile. Batman and Joker. This should be interesting. <laughs> I always say that to be funny, but let's see. That's right. Freedom is hard fought. <laughs> this game actually has a built-in feature where you can actually stream using this device like the game actually comes with a streaming feature that seems to be a big thing these days is uh putting streaming capabilities within your game there's another game that i'm playing right now on the side that i have not demoed yet that actually has a similar feature where you could possibly stream or record or whatever so it's interesting that they're added i guess they realize a lot of people are making videos of these games so they're like well instead of you know, making you buy other software to record your gaming. Why not just build it in the game? Yeah, it's kind of ingenious. It seems to be the way to go. I'm going to be way out of practice. I honestly haven't really played this game in a few weeks, to be honest. I play like maybe once or twice a month. Uh, I like the game, but there's so many other games that I'm playing that it's just hard to find time. Now, if all I did was just play video games, I didn't have like a, you know, 40 to 60 hour work week, then yeah, I might actually play this a little bit more. <laughs> but right now, the games have more priority. But this is legit. That's why I'm actually demoing this game. I actually think this has a really good concept. Um, again, the basic strats, 5v5, destroy their base. There are little um, towers you need to destroy as well to kind of help you out. Um, you have a little minion that you can hide behind. To kind of give you cover while you're trying to destroy bases and do things. There's also this thing called zoning. Where basically you kill monsters to give your teammates a boost. Alright, let's get moving. Oh, well thank you. Huh. I don't remember the whole voice thing happening. So on the bottom right, you'll see that there are little abilities that you can do. Um, you want to kind of level them up as you go to basically make sure you do better overall. So, so ideally you want to work as a team and, you know, like uh, buy stuff on the left side. Uh-oh, we're going to die. 
That was stupid to me. Honestly, I shouldn't have pushed. We should have probably waited for more uh, minions. But, um... We actually had a good thing going, too. But yeah. On the left side, where the shopping cart is, you'll occasionally be able to buy uh, perks that give you boosts and stuff. So I got minions to back me up again, so I'm going to wait on them. And then... We're just going to keep going. I'm going to make something happen. I will do that, sir. Thank you. I don't know how much you can hear of this, but basically it told me to stand my ground, which is what's going to happen. Not really getting far. I'm gonna have to possibly go a different direction. Or I may just start zoning. I'm gonna power up this first ability. You hear that? The good shall never perish. Yeah, we're not really winning on the bottom front here. We're gonna head to the I'm gonna start zoning actually. This is basically how you can give your teammates boosts and things like that. Oops, hit the wrong button. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> Yeah, we need to do something about that. You know, I'm kind of trying to tank here a little bit, and I don't seem to be getting back up with it matters. Like, as soon as, like, an enemy shows up, all of a sudden, <laughs> you know. So you're going to back me up this time, bro, or what? Oh, wow, I got my butt kicked hard. <laughs> I don't know, I just don't feel like I'm getting the backup I really need here. That's okay. But, yeah, I mean, it's a pretty cool game. I mean, like, obviously, as you can tell, you know, you're trying to kill their towers and so you can eventually get to their main base. You go from there. When you die, obviously, there's a, uh, a countdown so you can actually respawn. Yeah, you better run. Stand your ground. See if I can't give us a boost or something. Typically you only have one person zoning, but screw it. I'm going to collect whatever you can. Right now, I'm going to think we're more on the defense here. We're kind of on the defense, and I kind of want to try to eliminate this problem. I'm obviously going to get my butt kicked here, but, you know, that's a thing.
I'm not really good at this game, as you can tell. I don't really play it much. But hey, you know, it is pretty cool, though. Like I said, I like this concept of just being able to kind of walk around. Um, you level up as, you know, the match progresses. And like I said, you're killing towers, you're killing monsters. Um, making your, making your uh, stuff get better. Yeah, that's right. Oh, a two on one. Sure, I could win. <laughs> but I do like the. I like how they added um, a lot of like features that tell you what's going on. Like, when I first played this game, it didn't really actually tell you things like, your enemy has been defeated, your tower is being attacked. Like, you would see it, but I don't remember actually ever hearing it. Now, this is the first time I've ever used this headset, by the way. Uh, new technology for me. Uh, using a new recording software, using a gaming headset. Um, I have to say mad shout-outs to Pew Pew Banger Man for sending me and my girlfriend our own uh, gaming headsets. Uh, really, really been working out well for us. Really, really happy about that. But yeah, if you're looking for ways to become good at this game, don't watch me. <laughs> I am not good at all, <laughs> as you can tell. One day I'll be able to kill a tower. Uh, let's boost up that ability. I do like the fact that it's always telling you what's going on. Also, I do believe this game has chat capabilities, so if someone else had a mic too, we could actually talk to each other. Now, obviously I'm not taking advantage of this feature because I'm just, at the moment, just recording. Um, if I were to stream, and if I were decent enough, I would consider streaming this game. Don't rush up too much, guys. I will have water. <laughs> Believe it. Yeah, I'm the tankish kind of player so far in this game. I say take is because I probably don't play it right. And yeah, I kind of just spam like my abilities, not knowing when to actually do them. Like I feel like I've been doing this all wrong. Like, I can see the comments now. Man, you suck at this game. Why aren't you doing this and this and this and this and this? <laughs> yeah, I mean, obviously we're losing this game pretty bad. But that's okay. Again, this is just a demo. This isn't a game I play a lot. I'm not really good at this game. But I still think it's fun, though. And that's actually why I'm demoing this. But it seems like every time I spawn, somebody's behind me for a little while. <laughs> Buy something, I guess. Let's buy some stuff. Yeah, you better run. Oh, this should help him. Man, I suck at this. <laughs> Whew. That's okay, though. This time, I think I actually abandoned him. Like, usually the other one's abandoning me in the beginning, but now I think I actually abandoned him this time. I kind of just stopped. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I'm 
Yeah, as you can tell, I think we got about maybe three towers late. Three towers left. They got like almost all of their towers left. Yeah, let's get rid of these minions. They can do a number on you. There we go. Alright. So let's see if this guy will uh, back me up here. If I can attack here. <laughs> the controls for me are a little off, but I think it's because I'm playing on a mobile device. I would probably recommend playing this like on a tablet or a PC. Well, if you're playing on a PC, you're probably better just playing League of Legends. But yeah, I mean, if you have like a tablet, this would probably be the better way to play. I also feel like in this game, I don't know if you guys know this or if you've heard me talk about this on the podcast, but um, they actually have controllers that you can actually get for mobile games uh, or for mobile devices like phones and tablets. I think it's specifically for phone. I don't know if they have controllers for tablets or yeah, specifically tablets, but uh, there are companies that are trying to make uh, some pretty legit controllers uh, for the fun part, so so I think that's pretty cool. Um, I that will may be a future investment for me in the event that I can ever afford that. <laughs> but yeah, playing on like a phone like I am right now, I've noticed that the controls are a little difficult to uh, manage. Like sometimes I think I'm tapping on something and then nothing executes, or I'm just hitting the wrong spot. Ah, oh, man, I suck at this. <laughs> oh, and yes, just so you guys know, I am still here, and just to prove it to you guys, I think it's this button. Nope, that was the wrong button. Hold on. There I am, ladies and gentlemen, and yes, I got my headset on. So, just wanted to let you guys know that, yes, it is still B. I am still here. Your mobile gaming guy. Just decided not to have to show his face all the time. For those that are questioning the authenticity of, you know, who I am, and yes, it is me. I mean, at least our teammates are seem to be doing something here and there. <laughs> There we go. I think I actually killed somebody. Nice. It feels good to kill someone. <laughs> it actually felt nice to get a kill for once. Yeah, I'm actually kind of digging this, though. We're losing, but if you look at the scores, it almost feels like we're not losing that bad. Oh, yeah, we're about to lose pretty quickly. We're down to, like, a tower at, a base, at our main base. That's pretty much it. <laughs> That's right. You heard it. I'm also randomly buying um, upgrades and stuff, which is probably not the smartest thing to do. Like, I should probably know what I'm doing, but I don't. Or at least they're following me. That means something, I guess. <laughs> yeah, take it, son. <laughs> See, back when I was first playing this, I didn't hear all that. Hey, we destroyed a tower. Wonderful. We're getting things done. I like that. 
Honestly, I'm probably like the weak link here. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. He's probably like, who is this Krungster guy? And he needs to get off my team. <laughs> he needs to stop sucking and be in a good tank. <laughs> Oh, sometimes like these the guys that I'm playing with seem to be behind me here and there. They realize that I'm a tank and you know, they do their part it seems. Yeah, I'm taking you all on. I am the tank, ladies and gentlemen. A bad take, but I am the take nonetheless. <laughs> oh, I could probably check the action out. Yeah, I can. There you go. It's actually cool. You can kind of see what's going on, sort of. Yeah, they're probably going to be killing our base here pretty quickly. I'll probably be spawning here in about 15 seconds. Okay, I guess we're base is not doing quite yet. Oh, I'm back. Alright, I'm going for bases through this. Or towers. I have the point of not caring, it, you know what I mean? But I'm going to be sneaky about it, or at least try to be. No, I know that was dumb, but that's probably the dumbest thing I've done, but I was like, you know what, I want to hit the tower. I did not care. <laughs> Hey, we're actually doing stuff somewhere. That's pretty cool, right? Oh yeah, I should probably uh, level up some of my abilities. So yeah, remember you gotta level up abilities, and then you gotta purchase like power ups. So the abilities are on the bottom right. The power ups are on the left by the shopping cart. The top screen in the middle is basically your spawn death timer. If you go a little bit further to the right, it tells you what your score is. Um. The left, obviously, is the map, and to the right of that map is basically, like, everybody's death and cooldown times. And, uh, yeah, I think we're actually about to... Oh, hey, I'm here. So at this point, you just I just kind of spam. And totally lost. Yeah, we're about to lose. Bad. And boom, there it is. You have been defeated. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is Arena of Valor. Um, unfortunately, I lost. So what you do here is you can actually declare who the MVP is. And then you can kind of... Oh, the game declares who the MVP is. And you can pick who you think did the best. It tells you, you know... Yeah, I controlled enemies for seven seconds. Yay. Hey, someone gave me a thumbs up. But I'll hook up the person that was our uh, MVP. But, yeah, there you go. You can kind of vote. People can send you friend requests based off of your performance if they want to. Um, there's a lot more about this game that I don't really understand. Because I don't really play it a lot. But I really think this game has a lot of potential. Again, if you if you like this style of League of Legends. And you like... But you don't really play PC. But you happen to have a tablet or a decent enough mobile device. Definitely download this game and play it. You'll like it. Um, uh, so apparently, it actually like um, points people out. See, if you see the arrow that says no reward, it says this player abandoned or remained idle in the last match and has been punished. Wow. So basically what this means is that like, if the game notices that you're just not doing your death thing at all and it's not doing your job in general... Uh, it'll punish you. I think there's like a, uh, there is a system 
that basically tells other player that can tell other players like how how much of a competitor you are not not as far as like are you like a good player in general but more of uh are you actually someone that's going to play the game kind of a thing you know um behavior type score i think it's called a credibility score which spot is at 100 uh you can tell on the top right of the screen it's in blue it says credibility score and i'm at 100 because i haven't you know abandoned anybody but if you were to do what that uh horizon plays person did your credibility score will go down basically and it literally like pointed it out so i thought that was interesting um Apparently, you can share your match if you want to play again and go to another match. Um, or in my case, we're just going to back out. But, um, this is again, there's a lot more to this game. Um, what I like too is that they actually have a YouTube channel, which I am subscribed to. So, look at my subscription list and just look up Arena of Valor. They actually do a video on each of the heroes that they have in this game and pretty much teach you how to play them so if you have a certain archetype that you like to play and you want to learn how to play it youtube basically tells you how to play it i like that they did that because it basically makes it to where this game could be i don't know a little more competitive i guess since i'm just talking for the most part you can see what i'm looking like right now uh, but yeah i mean basically you'll learn the game a lot more by watching their channel look at each individual hero and see how you're supposed to play it and then do so again the game seems pretty solid uh the controls for me are a little bit wonky but i think i'm just kind of new at this so it's i don't know if it's the controls fault or if it's just me being bad um which that could possibly be it again i'm not that great at this game uh, but i still want to endorse this game because i really think it's good uh, it's different from the games you guys see me play, you know, because I'm mostly in, like, the mobile RPGs and the card games. This is another archetype of gaming that I like to play. I just don't really have the time to play it. That's really what it boils down to. Um, but, you know, if you're not in the card games, you're not in the mobile RPGs or other types of mobile games in general, um, this is definitely something that you should give... I'm giving a shout-out to that you should try. Again, this is the, cre the creators of League of Legends, which is pretty like hardcore competitive and stuff like that so i mean if you're into that kind of thing this is how you go oh i was actually invited to play uh, a game uh i appreciate it however um i'm making a video so i'm going to say no uh but thank you though i appreciate that either way um it's cool that people can do that to you you know they see that you actually tried and performed they can invite you to their matches they can send you a friend request stuff like that so uh but yeah um i'm out of here you guys take it easy enjoy this has been let's demo arena of valor